Let's take the example of a HeLa cell. This cell was actually obtained from the cervical cancer of a lady known as Henrietta Lacks. It has been growing from 1960s till now and several characters of this cell is very deeply studied and we were talking about the nuclear power complex and the nuclear transport. A HeLa cell actually needs around 10 crore ribosomes for its growth and for this to happen the cell needs to transport around 5 lakh ribosomal proteins from the cytoplasm into the nucleus within one minute and around 14,000 completed ribosomes need to be transported from the nucleus to the cytoplasm also within one minute and all this is done by the nuclear power complex present on the nuclear envelope and let's simplify the concept of nuclear power complex. The nucleus is having a double membrane envelope and the proteins which are produced inside the cytoplasm needs to be transported into the nucleus for several functions like ribosome production as well as the ribosomes and the mRNAs which are produced inside the nucleus needs to be taken out into the cytoplasm for several other functions. So as you might have guessed the nuclear transport is very important and this transport is done by the nuclear power complex. Nuclear power complex is having an octagonal structure and it is having a size which is around 30 times larger than a single ribosome and it is composed of a protein which is known as nucleoporin. The NPC has a central canal which is actually made of certain domains known as the central scaffolds and there are three ring-like structures which supports the central canal and these are the cytoplasmic ring, the transmembrane ring and the nuclear ring. And there are certain filaments which are arising from the cytoplasmic ring. And they are known as the cytoplasmic filaments. And there is a basket like structure which is arising from the nuclear ring and it is known as the nuclear basket. And now you know the structure of the nuclear pore complexes. The pore is actually formed by the central canal and it is supported by these three rings. There is a mesh like structure present inside the nuclear channel and it is involved in regulating the free flow of molecules which is having a molecular weight higher than 40,000 Daltons. And inside this mesh like structure two major amino acids are seen and they are the phenylalanine and glycine and hence it is having the name the FG domain. And due to the presence of these amino acids, the protein actually gets an unordered mesh-like structure which actually helps in preventing the entry of large molecules. A specific signal is needed for the entry as well as exit in the case of nuclear transport. For the entry, that signal is known as the nuclear localization signal NLS and for the exit, that signal is known as the nuclear export signal or NES. Snapshot time. Today, we have studied about the HeLa cell and the magnitude of nuclear transport which is occurring inside it. Also, we have studied about the structure of nuclear power complex and the FG domain which plays an important role in regulation. And now we have studied the structure of the nuclear power complex and it's time for the nuclear transport. And that's gonna be the topic of your next video. That was your 3 minutes. See you in the next one.